Hi, welcome to abs class. We're going to start in plank from your elbows and toes, only for one minute starting now. Now have your hands on the floor instead of interlocking your fingers. And have pressure in your palms, in your fingers, in your forearms. If the fingers are interlocked, the tendency is to just sort of sit into your shoulders. And you don't want to feel this in your shoulders or your back, so don't let your back cave in. Just keep the back supported by pulling in the abs tight. Especially in the lower abdomen, feel it pulling tight. The shoulder blades sliding down the back. You can always do this from your knees if you need to. And keep focusing on the breathing as it gets to be too much. Focus more on the inhale and the exhale. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep the neck long, don't arch the neck or drop the head. Three, two, one, and sit back and breathe. And come around to your back. Feet on the floor, arms are forward, palms are down. You're gonna inhale, one arm back, exhale it forward. Inhale, exhale. Keep the shoulders away from the floor. Abs pull in tight. To make it more challenging, knees up. More challenging yet, extend the legs. Four more like that. Now we're gonna do it again, but slower. Two, one, two, one. Inhale. And it will be harder to stay lifted away from the floor in the extension. Singles, inhale, exhale, seven, six. Keep the shoulder blades down the back so it's not hard on the neck. Two. And one, hug the knees in. And we're gonna flip onto your front for a back exercise. You can't have a strong core without a strong back. Arms are at your sides. Exhale, lift everything in two and down two. Pull the shoulder blades together. And again, keep the neck long. The tendency here will be to look forward and bring tension to the neck, but don't do that. Two more. Last one. And down. Sit back and breathe. And flip onto your back. Knees are going to fall slightly to the left. Hands behind the head. And two count crunch, take it very slowly at first. Up, two, down, two. And then extend the right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale, down. Careful not to push your back into the floor in order to come up, but squeeze your abs. More challenging. Uh, you can come onto your side, extend your lower arm forward, bring your top arm up. Exhale, keeping a flat back. So here, careful not to round like this. Although you can come up to your elbow, which makes it easier. We're going to singles now. Inhale. Exhale. Use some pressure under the lower arm. Or to make it more challenging, add the lower arm to the exercise. Bring it forward and back. And breathe. Three, two, and one. Stay if the lower arm is down. Try to bring it forward and off of the floor. More challenging, extend the arms alternating back. Three, two, and one. And go hug the knees in. And we go to the other side. Onto your back. Knees fall slightly to the right. Both shoulder blades return. To the mat, and down, left arm extended, 
Reach up to the ceiling. Inhale. So if that advanced challenge is hard on your back at all, then make sure you come to this option. Or lower arm forward. Let's go to singles here. Up. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, you can come to the elbow if you like. Take your time to work up to this challenge. Lower arm. For some, we're all of the set. Let's do four more. Two. And one, stay. See if you can walk that arm forward and off the floor. And maybe arms back. Two, and one, and down. Come onto your front, arms wide. Lift everything up. And a little higher, up and down in singles. Exhale, inhale, really pull the shoulder blades towards each other. Four, three, two, and one. And sit back and breathe onto your back. Feet on the floor, hands wide. Simple, curl, two counts up, two, down, two. Now come up and stay, up, hold, arms forward, arms back, don't curl down. Hands come behind the head and release down. And up. Arms forward. Arms back. Squeeze the abs harder. Behind and down. More challenging. Knees are up. Forward. Back. Extend the legs forward as the arms go back if you like. Behind and down. Exhale. Forward. Back. Strong hold. Behind and down. One more time at that pace. Up, two, forward, back, behind and down. Singles. Up, forward, back, and down. Forward, back, down. Two more. Last time. Hold here, stay, hands behind, and crisscross the legs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees in. Okay, we're gonna finish with one more back exercise. Arms are at your sides, and we're gonna do a slight twist. Come up and twist, center lift, and down. Up. Twist, center, down. Keep the legs out of this one. Legs are gonna stay on the floor. Down. Center, and down. Come up and hold everything up. Arms forward. Three, two, and one. Good, and sit back and breathe. And that is it for this workout. Hands or elbows under the shoulders. And lift, open up the abs. With a deep breath, giving them a stretch. And down, hands under the shoulders. Sit back and breathe. If you need to, open the back a bit more, take the arms to one side for about 30 seconds, and then to the other side for about 30 seconds. Okay, good work. <laughs>